Hello, hello, everybody. Today, we are going to be continuing and hopefully finishing Age of Calamity. Last time, we did the final main story mission and beat Calamity Ganon, who is in a big old man form, but at the cost of Terrico the Egg, who, 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 who turned himself into a bomb, saved the day. It's kind of nuts. But, uh, we have many things, and, like, uh, I even discovered that I could put the Terrico parts as, like, a thing to find. We need 50 of them, and, uh, some of them are in actual missions. So we'll have to do that. But before we do that, we will do some final, like, upgrade things. Like, especially to stasis. Then we will do like, at least the, like, maybe do the Divine Beast ones, because kind of neat, they threw out more. But otherwise, we're going to go through all of the missions and see if we can save Terrico. And then also, the main goal after that is then to do the final memory thing, because I do believe I've done all of the memory things. Except for the first ones, question mark, question mark, question mark. And mostly because there has to be a reason, right? There has to be a reason that that, like, is weird and off. I do have, like, a tab on my browser that is just Age of Calamity to Zelda's side, so I can go to, like, a wiki and discover the specifics. After we, like, because more than likely if we fix Terrico, they'll become a playable character. And then, I don't know, maybe then we could upgrade him. And so it'll be more than level 40 or something. I don't know. But, uh, first we'll do this. Search parties are going to explore Hyrule, seeking parts to repair Terrico. They'll be traveling from the highest peaks to the depths of the desert. Prepare them for extreme environments. You get the Master Koga seal of approval. <laughs> By expanding their range into the extremes of Hyrule, and by summoning their courage, the search parties were able to find more parts that might revive Terrico. Ah. Another mission mission and a just gib item one. How is it possible no one thought to scour the Royal Ancient Tech Lab for parts? Until now, that is. The researchers will help you if you find the materials for their work. That's gonna take all of my cores. All of them. Well done, my friend. After you gave the researchers what they wanted, they turned up in force to comb through the lab and its environs. They got results and found lots of parts that might revive Terrico. Oh man, another one. Cause let's see. How many parts do we currently have? 28. We need 50. And that's one part. Five parts. So six, nine, eleven, and fourteen. Not sure if that's enough or not. Brain is bad at math on the fly. But let's upgrade our runes and go into those missions. The researcher heading up the stasis upgrade project hasn't eaten his favorite rice in weeks, and progress has slowed to a crawl as a result. For science's sake, get the man his rice! With a bowl of Hylian rice in his system, the researcher was his old peppy self again. He and his team made a series of discoveries, among them a way of strengthening stasis. Which now just means I'm going to be able to spam that beyond all belief. You know, I just realized I could probably just went that instead of putting it in the thing, but I will. <laughs> One scientist was supposed to travel to Hebra to find an item for his cryonis research, but he backed out at the last second due to family circumstances. Can you get it instead? Well done. Keep forgetting Suga, <laughs> like, still exists for me, technically. After a series of ups and downs, the researcher finally figured out how to upgrade Cryonis. Yet he reacted without so much as a smile. 
It seemed he had something else on his mind. That's kind of... kind of sad. Trouble at family home. Let's see, this one is Shadow of Ganon. And it's time restricted, but hey, we get the boy, Link. A Gerudo soldier is reported spotting a guardian with a strange aura. Orbosa and Link set out to subdue this odd threat. Let's see. Can we start eating already? Go ahead and just pile on some damage so that we can just blaze through these as fast as possible. To save the boy! To save Terrico! But I'm just wondering, like, something has to happen. Like, if this is a rhetorical question. But something has to happen if I complete the final question mark, question mark, question mark, like, memory thing. Mostly due to the fact that, just like, we got Suga for completing all the memory challenges in that, like, Yiga clan mission. So I can only assume that, like, something has to happen if we complete all the Terrico, like, EX memory missions. Yep. Well, actually, I could just charge right at him. I'm Link. Hang on. So this is where they were. Come on, Link. We can divide the enemies between us. Why do that when I can just annihilate him? I'm Link. And you should fear me. Freeze, idiot. Also, during my... Like, huh, grinding, learned a nice little combo thing. I forgot that I can hold the heavy attack. To do things. Like that. Also, I, uh, like, uh, noticed another thing during my grindings, and, uh, forgot to point it out, but I will in the next mission, because it's actually sad. We'll just go defeat the lonely one. Be gone. Like evil projectile enemies. No spin. You are not a fan. And I'm not a fan of you. <laughs> Take that, Malice Guardian. I don't fear you, Malice Man. Did I freeze you again? In a better position for me to annihilate you. Goodbye, Malice Guardian. Die. I have three bars, so I'll just smack you all. Freeze you guys. Goodbye, Silver Moblin. My Link power annihilates all my foes. But it is still a bit eerie to run into normal mobs that can take a good few hits from Link and just not die. Yeah, perfect position. I double hit you both. Get slammed, Guardians. From YouTube chat, hello, hello, hello. We're doing a few missions that actually give, like, uh, Terrico parts for victory. Phew, by the skin of our teeth. You broke a sweat there, Link? Actually, no, we didn't even hit the halfway point because my Link is busted. My Link is a god. Because we're just going to finish up the last few bits of Age of Calamity by reviving Terrico and getting the final, like, question mark, question mark, question mark, bonus memory objective from the very first, like, uh, DLC mission. I 
And more than likely, I'll look up what it is, because I have no idea what it could be. Because... And plus, that will just allow us to get through it faster. Oh, fun. I guess we could also do these discount in West Hyrule. Then again, what if I need those fairies? Probably not, though. But we can... Up here, because we have a few hunting partners. <laughs> Ravali and Hestu as hunting partners. Hilarious. The Coblins have stolen important materials and fled into the woods. Ravali has decided to pursue them along with Hestu, whose knowledge of the woods should be helpful. That is just kind of hilarious to me. This <laughs> Hestu Acceptable. coming along. Acceptable. So have you watched the episodes of Amazing Digital Circus yet? No, I have not. I keep forgetting. Brain is bleh. I'm very bad when it comes to like, oh, my watch ba like back catalog. There's a lot of things I need to sit down and watch, but brain just goes, eh. Maybe tonight after stream. Tonight after stream, I'll do it. If I remember. Brain is just evil. Also just realized, I think this is like... The first time Hestu will be in our team in, like, forever. Hilarious. Chakala, the monsters ran off and hid in the forest. Unacceptable. What a nonsense. They stole the precious resources. We can't let them get away with this. I wonder why there's like a like another route. What? What? Indeed. Ah! Get flurry rush, silver moblin. Another flurry rush for me! This will take you out relatively quickly. Incoming! We'll get there because Ravali is just super fast and bay. Oh, I got here just in time for it to close. I hit the wrong button. I'm a fool. Ah, but I can just hit this. If I was just a little bit faster, I could have probably hit that Bacoblin to death. Now just need to take off. I went into the wrong corner. I'm an idiot. The Korok Force is all the same to my eyes. Uh, luckily, you're very slow, so I can catch up to you. That's still a good spec, hip hip hooray! <laughs> Recaptured the stolen goods. I wonder what those big, big enemies were later down the line. Because they had like mini boss icons there. At least they gave me Ravali to go really, really fast. Gotta go fast. It's very interesting. Like the... Put... Uh, and I forgot to point out the special thing again. Nah. But one thing that uh, did pop up post-game while I was doing my grinding is Blood Moon levels. Which are basically very hard versions of story missions. Which is kind of neat. What the hell is this? See chest details in Battle Info. Huh. I'm sure I'll grab this. I didn't even know that you existed. And again, the music. The music is very, very good. The Skull Lake Merchant has created a radar system that detects treasure all over the world. He'll trade it to you for the correct monster parts. Well, he has his thing, he has his niche. Well done, my friend. 
You gave the merchant all of the monster parts you wanted in exchange for the... M uh, he wanted for the treasure detecting radar. Now you can see at a glance how much hidden treasure remains. Very cool. Now let's play as Daruk in Rampaging Malice. There is a report from the Gorons of a suspicious Guardian sighting on Death Mountain. The Guardian could hinder the ore mining if left unchecked. Daruk heads to Death Mountain to deal with it. This is good. Oh, but I can point out the thing. Terrico isn't on the loading screen anymore. We can no longer run about as our little egg friend because he is dead. It's just such an evil little detail. They even, like, specifically moved the icons. Or maybe it's a dynamic system. I could see it's probably a dynamic system where just, like, there's a certain number of character slots... And then if you have the character, like, available, they will be, like, uh, move up and down. The available slots. Hello, Malice Guardian. You, why do they all do the wind-up? Incoming. Incoming indeed. Oh, dang it. I was trying to do his, like, shielding thing since we unlocked that. I've never used it. It seems that Age of Calamity is the only uh, game to have post-game after the ending in modern Zelda games, so far as I know. Maybe? I'm trying to think. Hmm, because... Like, maybe technically the original Hyrule Warriors? And... But, uh, like, as for actual post-game post-game... Yeah, probably the only one that, like, uh, I can think of. There's probably others. Because, like, technically there's, like, uh, Zelda 1 with the Master Quest. But that's less post-game and more, like, super hard new game plus. Like a special difficulty mode. That is actually an interesting thing to think about. Makes you wonder, like, what kind of post-game other Zeldas could possibly have. If they were, like, uh, were allowed to have them. I've got this handle! That you do, Daruk, because you're a badass. Daruk's so awesome, he can just run over flying enemies while they're in the air. The mighty Daruk is coming for you, evil monsters. I can't really think of any, like, really potential post-game for other Zeldas that would really make sense all that much. Ah, uh, because it was a fire one. I was like, I was wondering, like, why is this Guardian dying super fast? It's because it was a fire Guardian and not a Malice Guardian. Post-game after Journey's uh, ending is normally common in mainline Pokemon games. That's true. There's de a decent amount of things that, like, pop up and, like, eh, you can do more. Then there's, like, the national decks versus the regional decks in most games. And then probably, like, they've only... <laughs> Expanded that probably in years. I need to I need to do my Poke Marathon again because the last one I played was Pokemon Platinum. I need to get around to playing Pokemon uh, Black and Black Two. I think were the ones that I decided that I was gonna do.
Eventually I'll get around to it, I swear. Same thing with Persona 3 Portable. And Ocarina of Time. Fire Guardian will go ahead and one-shot you. Although I will say, the uh, post-game Battle Frontiers of uh, Emerald did not really uh, interest me all that much. I beat one, and it was painful. I did a single one. Didn't really like it all that much. I got lamed the fuck out by enemies multiple times. They didn't even have any damaging moves. They just did things like they poisoned me and then healed constantly until I died. It was agony. I don't fear you, Malice Guardian. I smack you very hard. I'm trying to think what other games out there kind of have post games. Because, like, it also depends on the kind of post game, because some of them have, like, actual epilogues, while other ones are just like, oh, the main story's over, now you can. Like, if you want to go and do, like, side quests and stuff that you haven't completed yet. Like, with Mass Effect 2, it was, go ahead, do the side quests you missed, I believe. Whereas, let's see, what other games have, like, epilogue epilogues? I guess the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series really, really likes it. Like, epilogues, this is stuff that happened following the events of the main story. Did you say Pokemon Platinum? I have long time ago played the game, but never got to finish it. Yep, I streamed it a decent bit ago, because I think I... That was, like, earlier this year. Like, uh, in the first half of this year. Where I was streaming through the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games... And I think in between Explorers of Sky and Gates to Infinity, I played uh, Pokemon Platinum to bridge the gap of like, oh, I don't want to burn myself out playing all the mystery dungeons back to back to back, so let's play something else. But still Pokemon. This one is specifically... Oh! Interesting. Defeating Destiny. That's kind of neat. We might do that one. After we revive Terrico. <laughs> the Master Kuga Chronicles! A horde of monsters is approaching Akala Citadel. Left unchecked, they could disrupt Pura's research. Impa grabs Master Koga and moves to intercept the threat. Oh boy. This looks right With you on that. Let's go protect Pura's research. One game I've finished the main journey in is Pokemon X. I forget which one. I think X was the one that I was going to play, like, along my Pokemarathon of, like, versions of the Pokemon games I'm going to get to eventually. Because right now I've done, like, on stream, I've done Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Emerald, Pokemon Platinum. And then as for Pokemon spinoffs, I've done Rescue Team a long time ago. And then Explorers of Sky, Gates to Infinity, and Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon earlier this year. Yikes. You can't hit me! I'm Koga! Gonna run you over! And then I will destroy you, Guardian Scout One! I did it! I did it! Back you did, my boy! Oh neat! While I'm in this state, they can't hit me. Perfection, Perfection indeed. And we can dodge the the beam again. Since you're right here. Oh, I really knocked you out. Oh, 
Well, that's damaging its legs, at least. Oh, then I can just do this. Need for that more. I can just force a weak point pop and stasis it a bit. Die, Guardian. How dare you knock me off my my ball? Funnily, when it comes to like Pokemon games, a long, long time ago, I did like a uh, play. I one of the like a uh, X or Y games, but I never beat it, and I don't really remember much about it except I really grinded to get a like a. Uh, the really oh, enemy spawned. That's mean it. Very mean of enemies to spawn in. Let's see. Yeah, you're going after the guardian. Be good. Okay, I never did like super duper get around to beating any other ones. And before streaming, the only Pokemon games that I actually, like, uh, played was, uh, let's see, Pokemon uh, Blue and uh, Gold when I was a kid. And then Pokemon... Diamond and Platinum as a kid later in my life. And then I got one of the sixth generation, but never beat. So I really should go through and just replay him eventually. That's one nice thing about streaming. It kind of gets me to go through and play games that I haven't in ages. Gonna well, beat the Guardian. And get blasted. Because I have the advanced technique of tantrum canceling. kind of silly that the only character that actually can like really uh, deflect lasers is Link. Go ahead and blast you. And we'll send him to get the Guardian. Got one. Dang it. Some rune attacks are just annoying to do. You dare shoulder check me? I'll just go ahead and blast you. Get blasted, Silver Lionel. Knocking me over. You're a very mean Guardian Scout One. And now we annihilate you. Now we'll send you out to the other Silver Lionel. Dang it, I hate the rune sometimes. If the enemy is like, hit this rune to stop me, I should be able to hit the rune to stop them. It just feels like common sense. 
I'm just never going to actually even try to hit you with that one ever again. Because it never will. It'll never happen. You're just too fast, too furious. Now this, the bomb, can hit. Why didn't I just... What am I... Lackeys to do this! Because you are the great Koga. Sorry for dragging you along, Koga, but hey, doesn't it feel good to get blood pumping, doesn't it? Serving up pain! A whole lot of hurt! Slow down! Ha, ha. Get flurry rushed, idiot! Yeah, game lock on to the enemy I was locked on to. Very mean. Enemy. Serving up more blasting of the enemies. Run you over. <laughs> I think I activated on the wrong enemy. But so that will blast the Lionel a bit. And get rid of the... Guardian. Oh. And now, extra damage for you. Also forget, what's his, like... While the stretch gauge is low... Body slam! Great. Great. I run you over. You can't hit me. I'm Master Koga. <laughs> and now, I blast you with my stress abater. Not scared. Master Koga is top tier. Die. What's up? I did it. I did it. Well, I need to actually capture the outpost. Ready? And now I can obliterate you. I'll send him over there. And we forgot that it said capture the outposts. Bam. And now we're just gonna let you. I am ready. I want to talk about games between depth TV, uh, media, and films, and how storyline is about in other media that follows video game logic. Hmm. That's also true. There is a lot of video game adaptations going around. Like uh, the Mario movie, there's apparently a live-action Legend of Zelda movie in the works, which, like, why live-action video game stuff? Like, maybe more grounded things like The Last of Us. But why do you look at a fantasy thing like Legend of Zelda and go, we need that to be live-action? It just doesn't make sense to me. I haven't watched any of the like, uh, latest video game adaptation things, like the Mario movie, the Sonic movies, the Fallout TV show, the Last of Us TV show. Just have not, have not. The obvious game series that's also in other series is Pokemon, with their anime and manga counterparts. That's true. Because I guess technically, yeah, there's other, like, parts of video game entertainment outside of just, like, ooh, movies and stuff. There's also manga and comics. It makes you wonder, like... <laughs> probably one of the biggest, like, uh, video game comics counterparts would be the Archie Sonic ones. That ran for a long, long time. It had crazy storylines. Go onward. You can do it, Mipha. 
We can save Terrico. Oh, like, uh, also there's the Castlevania animated series that people really, really liked. And then I think there's also, like, uh, Castlevania, like, another Castlevania animated series kind of based along that one that I think is currently coming out, I think. I haven't been paying attention a lot. And then there's also Arcane, which is a little bit different because there's only, like, what's the word? The main game isn't really, like, about the, the stories of stuff and it's kind of gone back and forth on the lore, changing things. Goodbye, Guardian Scout 1. Be obliterated. You cannot destroy me. I am going to destroy you. More flurry rushes. Huzzah! Also, I gotta say, this is the most that I've seen the tiny Guardian models. Because I know we ran into a few of them, but they were not all that prominent, which is hilarious considering... Like, uh, a lot of the time, you just go into a shrine and bam, there'd be one waiting for you. And all those various trials of strength. Get obliterated, electrical guardian. We can just annihilate the Flying Guardian. Today is Flurry Rush everything. Everything is getting Flurry Rush. Also, I do kind of like how this kind of shows, even if we do seal away Calamity Ganon, there's still, like, mad Calamity things still going around. Dang it. Fucking wall jumping. Didn't want to wall jump. I wanted to dodge into them. Dang it. Messed up my combo. My ultimate combo of stun locking. Goodbye, Ice Guardian. Oh yeah, and actually speaking of, like, video game stuff appearing in other mediums, there's gonna be, like, an anthology series, which is basically, like, each episode is gonna be its own contained thing based about different video games, or, like, I guess not technically a video game video games, because Warhammer, I think, was included in there. But, like, a God of War, Warhammer, a few other things. But hilariously, one of the video games that was going to be, like, included in the anthology episodes was uh, Concord, which is gone now. So people are joking, like, what's going to happen with that, considering that it's not even being sold or anything. It is kind of funny. I feel sorry for all the people that actually did pour a lot of heart and soul into Concord. Because I think if they gave it a good aesthetic and, like, really put the characters first, maybe it could have survived, but they also were entering into the oversaturated hero shooter genre, which is a very poor time to do that. And then, ironically, Valve came in with their own hero shooter, and they're like, surprise! We made a good hero shooter, and it's not even fully made yet. It's like in alpha beta. He's you.
Ah, good. They bunched up. They can destroy them. Annihilation. And more just keep forming. You shall advance no further. I will defend this ground with my very life. And she ain't joking. There's a timeline out there. <laughs> she backed it up thoroughly. You please stop doing your bullshit beams that are hardly able to be dodged. Uh, more keep showing up. What the fuck is you? Oh, fuck off! Little fucking bastard. Stop that right now, little bastard. And now that you're all just gathered around me, I'll ult on all of you. Jesus, and another one has found me. Get obliterated. Yeah. The Persona series also have their own anime and manga series. P3 has four movies? Ah, that's a lot. For like the first really, really... I forget, I wonder how popular the first two ones were Persona 1 and 2 and then the like I forget like the Innocent Sin I think it was called and there we go that's a decent amount Place, uh, Persona 4 has two separate anime series that follow the first mainline story the second is extra contents from the gold version very nice It's always like the Japanese games that get like manga. Well, obviously, of course, the Japanese series would get manga and anime, but you don't really see Western video games get comic books and animated shows made about them. Which is a little bit disappointing. And then, really, when the Western stuff does get adaptation stuff. It's always kind of scuffed because of corporate bullshit. Gotta get rid of you the most. No idea what, like, because I'm always dodge canceling Mipha's stasis attack, so I don't know what her default, like, action in stasis is. Because I hit the, like, attack button, but it's like she never attacks. I don't know what it does. I have no idea. Goodbye, Guardian. Drown. That seems to be all sorted. Thank goodness there were no casualties. Thank God that I had enough money to level up everybody. If I didn't level up everyone, I feel like all of these would be kind of painful. And from YouTube, hi Neon, hello, hello! We are gathering up parts for Turaco to revive them and then see if anything happens if we do the final remaining question mark, question mark, question mark, like, uh, EX mission memory. Bonus objective. I keep doing them, and more keep popping up into the universe. <laughs> but while we hunt down the ways to bring the little buddy back who turned himself into a bomb, remember to stay hydrated. I guess since we're down here, might as well, for the king's secret technique. From time to time, King Rome heads for a secluded lodge to protect... Uh, pra protect? He must protect his claymore. To practice with his claymore. These training retreats might be even more effective if he had something to augment his strength. King Rome does drugs. King Rome made some powerful elixirs from the ingredients and returned from the lodge with his skills quite improved. 
no one alive could possibly surpass His Majesty's deafness of claymores. <laughs> and we got the warm doublet. One of the, like, last things we can earn. <laughs> it's warm doublet. Oh, Jesus of Zelda level. And a King Rome level. See, the, the one that popped up here was just a normal... Heart escort. Let's see, how many are we still lacking? 42. This one gives 5. That one gives 3. 42. I think that would leave us with one missing? I'm bad at math, just so you know. Utterly terrible. Because 42 plus 7 should leave us with 1 left. Let's see. Well, let's try the Zelda one. Because technically we could use other weapons, but while we do that, when we have the Bow of Light doing a decent amount... Oh, yeah, and we can also... Let's see. Oh! Oh! This is cool! I thought we'd go back to, like, her really, really old clothes, but no, Zelda's winter clothes. Neat! And we are upping up the damage, because we need that damage. <laughs> Terrico is hard to repair. Feels like it. They really spread it all around. And all of the missions are, like, time-based. And from YouTube chat, continuing our conversation on video game, like, IP and different media. And then there's Persona Trinity Soul with the, the anime-only story I've told you about. The series doesn't follow the video game logic at all. The Persona power system is written like how it would realistically exist. That kind of makes sense. You were supposed to investigate the ruins here. The monsters uh, have arrived. Eradicate them. Because, like, it kind of makes sense. Like, if you're doing a video game adaptation, like, basically you can either embrace the video gamey nature of it, or try to make it, like, make sense outside of a video game context. Oh, it's playing the nice music again. And here, too, we'll have to show just how resilient we truly are. Get orbed, idiot. Get double orbed, idiot. It's kind of neat that Persona has so many different, like, animated iterations, both based on the actual series and with their own, like, anime-only iterations as well. Which is kind of neat. I can't see nothing. I'm now blocked in hell. I shall annihilate you to get out of this corner. Goodbye. Let me out of the corner. Please, I'm stuck in this corner. Let me out. It's not even door stuck. It is just stair stuck. You've heard of Homestuck. Now get ready for Stairs Stuck. Dang it. Get Flurry Rush. Rushing jerk. God, camera, please. I'm getting attacked by asshole ranged enemies and the camera. Get bombed. Now, we send the lights after you. You'll be abducted by aliens. Like from Majora's Mask. I need to play Majora's Mask. Dang it. I dodged too late. Wrong thing. Wouldn't have helped anyway. That, like, never hits the charging Lynels. We shall send the sparkles after you. I 
Almost. Almost broke it. Oh, I don't think I'll get out of that. Ah, I did get out of it. Victory for me. Victory for Vegeta. And now that you're out of the way, I can just focus on capturing this because you decide to charge out of the place. So I couldn't just annihilate the enemies while annihilating you. No, you had to be selfish. Have time just to yourself. Come on, enemies. Spawn in so I can kill you. Either get in or get out. Just kill these guys because they're picking up all the enemy real estate. Come on, spawn enemies that I can kill, game! This is an enemy outpost, isn't it? Like, I feel like all the outposts should have, like, why are they spawning outside? I can't get to outpost progress if the... Uh, this is weird. Game. Why are they spawning outside? Yeah, half the time limit remains because you're being an asshole, game. <laughs> All the enemies are spawning outside the outpost! Spawn inside already! Game! There we go! Why are they spawning outside so much? That was so stupid. They did it repeatedly. That was so dumb. I hate evil little things like that. Why can they eat? Like, why can enemies? Okay, I'm gonna run in this time. And start working on the outpost myself. And then if the Lionel wants to come join me, he can. But now my ally's outside. Well, then again, it doesn't say kill the Lionel. It just says uh, capture the outpost. So maybe the Lionel's leaving the churches is a, a boon to me. That could very well be it. Who is your favorite character in this game besides Zelda? Oddly enough, I have not played Zelda all that much. Like, at all. It's a very rude Lionel. But my favorites are definitely, like, Link and Rivali. Oh, and Taba. They're just very fun to use. Annihilating enemies all over the place. There we go. Spawn more enemies in here. Yes, exactly. I think Zelda's freeze might be the best. The blocks come out really, really fast. God, we can't hold any longer! Oh, well, I don't even have to kill you, I don't think. Oh no, maybe I do. Malice Lionels have arrived. That's not good. Oh, I might as well use this since I maxed out my bar. Oh no, it's just defeat the Malice Lionels. I don't even have to kill you. Ho 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 ho. I don't even have to deal with the normal Lionels. Does mean I wasted my... ...diddlities, but oh well. I shall blast away now. But other characters that are really fun to play, uh, Koga. Koga's actually really really good to play, even though he's kind of a silly combat character, it's really, really well done. And his tantrum meter is really, really good. And then Impa is really good. I didn't play her much, but her moveset's really, really good. Oh, King Rome. King Rome is really good as a, a, a like a character. His stance switching is very fun and interesting to me. Trying to really fast one down quickly so that we can then focus on dodging the other one. Oh, Suga? We only played him on his training level because we unlocked him so late, but he's very fun. There we go. You know somebody's character's uh, freeze ability is really good when they can actually hit Lionels who are charging at you. Have a bunch of bombs in your face. You ugly freak. 
Ah, there we go. That was like a one turn for a Malice Lionel. Hell yeah. It took time and perseverance, but we did it. Now then, let's proceed. And I couldn't read fast enough, for I am a fool! Yeah, that's like the like. Sometimes, if you're really, really fast at killing enemies, sometimes it takes them a bit to spawn in at outposts. That's the first time that they were ever like, "I'm gonna spawn outside and troll you on a time limited game mission." <laughs> And from YouTube chat, Trinity Soul Anime is about how personas would exist IRL. There's people who are unaware they have the potential and never use them, or people who awaken but have trouble controlling them. I really need to get back into Persona 3 Portable, because I feel like that was kind of touched on. Not, like, super, super much, but they kind of were like, ah, this person kind of can do it, but they... It takes a bit, like, the characters to actually come in and be like, ah, you have the potential to do it. Now we go in his play as King Rome. And see, maybe this will unlock one final mission. Because again, I'm fairly certain that the amount we've gathered should equal out to about like 49. So we would be missing one. Maybe. Or maybe I miscounted and this will be all of them. Could be. Or the world could be mean and one of them may be glitched out of existence and I don't have them anymore and I can never revive Terrico. <laughs> Guardian Graveyard. Defeat all the Guardians. Well, I'll so run to the Guardian Graveyard then. I'll get the one on the ground because you'll just be spamming your beam at me. Too slow. <laughs> Too slow indeed. Get obliterated. What? What is the meaning of this? Game fucking. <laughs> How dare you try to juggle me? I eat apple in front of you. Now I will annihilate your health bar. You jerk. <laughs> Bow! Throws off. The Hermit Guys says bow, throws on the Hermit Guys. Hilarious. Oh, I actually dodged that one. Normally I can't dodge those. Like, unless I have a invulnerability move. No. The King's Stasis t has a little bit of a wind-up, so that could be dangerous. How does it feel having only like two legs? Idiot. I shall chop you down like a tree. One cannot help but smile. Hmm, there are more at the far back, it seems. Let us quell their lingering fears. Get out of here, Octorax. You ugly. Run by all of you. I have. Also, I do like how they're incorporating the normal guardian theme. That was just piano. Oh, fine. I'll just. Oh, they hit me through the tree. And now that you're kind of close together, hopefully this will hit you both. And it did. These guardians. The fact that, like, it is asking me for, like, uh, 13 minutes to fight all of these, I can only assume that there are a lot of guardians gonna show up. You all keep blasting me. Whoop! Ha <laughs> ha! I interrupted your attack on me, you freak. Oh, you think that you can target me again? Okay, there we go. Silence. 
<laughs> Using an execution move to avoid a laser beam. One cannot have yeah, get knocked out, Ice Guardian. Break all your legs. Fucking rock. <laughs> Interrupting my combos. Very rude. Why do they have so many rude, just shooty shooty enemies placed all around? And Malice Guardian deeper in. Will you fuck off? And you're over a hill too. I don't like enemies that stun me. Oh, you're in the tunnel. Oh, this is gonna be painful. Haha! <laughs> Use stasis to block it. have him. Get in there! We're gonna wait for it to get up so that we can use my special bar. Oh, we can just do it now since I got pushed to the back. I'm stuck in a tunnel with guardians. Get rid of this guy. So now we're down to one. With seven minutes remaining. Well, more like eight minutes, but still. That's right. Just keep uh, walking at me. Not even really attacking me. I will take that. I'll just keep uh, using my big attack on you. And you'll uh, you stop caring. Ah. I'm messing up my combos. I don't know why. There we go. Run. <laughs> run? We cut off its legs. It can't run. Maul has quieted down. One hopes that Peru and Robbie can continue their research now. And then he just runs off into the woods. Yeah, the king's very fun to play as. It's very fun. Let's see. If one more will pop up with <laughs> your award. One singular Terrico part. Through the loading we go. Still wonder about that sword. Because it doesn't look like any other sword in the game. Unless it's meant to be, like, a normal sword kind of, uh, representing everything. Oh, Terrico's return is available. I was just bad at math. You hope to revive Terrico, so work with everyone to collect parts that could do the job. With hard work and hope, you might just be able to bring your little friend back to life. Cutscene time. <laughs> that does it. Eureka! Uh, well, uh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, hold your horses, champ. Because, I mean, I don't think it's working at all. It's kind of working. We're seen from the view. Something we didn't do. Oh, everyone's here. Good. The results will surely reflect that. Calm down. The thing's probably just stretching out its nap. Yeah, Funny how Rivali is. <laughs> right on well, dot. Come on, you. 
Wakey, wakey, hey, no hitting the boy. No hitting the egg. I like that it's actually a cutscene. Stop hitting the boy. <laughs> it's like, I just woke up and you're hitting me. How dare. <laughs> Even Rivali's laughing in happiness. Aw. They even, like, fixed up his shell with <laughs> glue and duct tape. Welcome home, Terrico. It's great. Da, da, da. Oh, more cutsy Or, like, ah. <laughs> Special credits. Terrico. Oh! Da, da, da. The Zora motif. With Terrico's beepin' boopin' music in there as well. I like this art style. And then the Gorons. Da, da, da. Adorable. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Oh, it's actually like the backgrounds are actually 3D there. Just with like a filter on there. Oh, he's even taking Terrico for a fly. Yeah, chase the the bokoblin there. I like that they're actually adding in a second, a second like credits. It's adorable. If like a special, <laughs> always slapping her hand. Korok Forest. It's really good. Da -da -da. Like I don't know, this feels like it had like a like this is the true credits. It feels like. Oh, and then the Yiga clan! <laughs> Does that imply that Suga is still alive? He was there with Master Koga. That's cool. I like because we've been having these, like, designs of the characters on the loading screen for so long, and they were very important to the story of Breath of the Wild, and now they're kind of puppet animated here. It's so good. And then he's... Everybody! Everybody's here! And of course, Daruk hugs <laughs> the champions, and Rudanya's climbing the castle. It's so good! Like, it took a decent bit of grinding for me, but that was worth it. Da, 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 da. Welcome back, Terrico. The repairs have made your friend more powerful than ever, so it can fight alongside you as a faithful companion. What great news. More adventure with Terrico. And that got a level up for Hyrule. 
Terrico, Guardian of Time. A tiny guardian who has traveled from the future to save Zelda. It was broken in the fight against the Calamity. It fucking blew up. It was a bomb. But has now been repaired and reactivated thanks to the efforts of Link and the others. And little upgrade things, I assume. So this is... If Terrico's training... EX Enhanced Ability. <laughs> Relic Lessons. Terrico wants to upgrade itself. Oh, that reminds me. It's you! Completely yes. forgot. That we were also gonna finish this off, too. There are... There are whispers of a powerful guardian that has battled ceaselessly since time immemorial. Are these just fantastical rumors, or something more? We must get to the bottom of this! It's kind of any credits in video games. That's what I like about some titles, even makes the end credits as a minigame. It wasn't really a minigame, but it was It had personality. It was so good. We are so close to tracking down the mightiest of guardians. Our research indicates that it's hidden itself in some ruins somewhere. Gah! I must see with my own eyes! I must! And then, complete EX alert, Forgotten Temple. Thanks. Yes, quite. Which maybe will pop up now. Maybe. But let's enhance Terrico, and then I'll probably look up and like, what it, or maybe, <laughs> will you tell me the answer now? Nope, it's still question mark, question mark. But let's upgrade the boy. Terrico wants to upgrade itself to be even stronger so it can protect Zelda. If you provide records of the guardians who fought, it may be able to learn something from them. Terrico found some useful data in the battle records. It happily rushed off to the, to the researchers, urging them to do an upgrade as soon as possible. To unleash a laser barrage. Hell yeah. Testing, testing, one, two, and Terrico empowered. You hear that Princess Zelda herself is planning to perform maintenance on Terrico, check its systems, perform upgrades, and so on. To do so, however, she requires certain materials, like all 9,999 Bokoblin parts. After Zelda finished her work, Terrico began bounding happily around the lab. Thanks to the princess, it now has a reinforced chassis, immune to all manner of scratches and scuffs. <laughs> and that leveled up. Nekluda. And put down some new upgrades. Special attack! <laughs> yes, these are good. These are always good! To brighten her day. In hopes of putting a smile on Princess Zelda's face, Terrico would like to make a bouquet featuring her favorite type of flower. Hell yeah. Zelda loved the bouquet from Terrico. The two of them took a stroll together in the sunlight, with the princess holding the flowers close as Terrico played cheery melodies. The ultimate ship, Zelda and Terrico. <laughs> Terrico wants to show Princess Zelda its gratitude by making her favorite dessert. The recipe calls for a few ingredients, namely... Oh, and another special attack gauge! Hell yeah! Zelda was delighted by the confection Terrico gave her. A fruitcake topped with wild berries. The two spent an afternoon together. Terrico playing songs as the sun swung low in the sky. It basically was a date. Maybe they are being shipped. Improved heart recovery, might as well grab this. Soldiers are hard at work building a hot spring underground, beneath Hyrule Castle. However, it seems the low light conditions are slowing them down. Perhaps you can help illuminate things. Get some heart recovery. <laughs> for once. The hot springs beneath Hyrule Castle became a beloved relaxation spot for soldiers weary from battle. The memory of all those happy smiling faces fills your heart with warmth. Testing, testing, one, two. You finally managed to restore Terrico. To ensure the plucky automaton is ready to roam free, a few tests will be have to be run. Rummage up some ancient screws to be used in testing. After a full battery of tests, you confirm that Terrico was in tip-top shape. 
What's more, as it was regaling everyone with a cheery tune, the little guardian showed off a new move. A lot more, a lot more. Let's see, bonus heart, bonus heart, bonus heart. Bonus combo, we always go for the combos. Preserving for posterity. There were many heroes in the battle against Calamity Ganon. To ensure their efforts are never forgotten, Terrico can stow an image from the battle in its memory, but it needs some materials. How thoughtful. The hero standing as one, facing destiny without fear. Terrico stored this image safely in its memory. As the others talked about that day, it made a sound as if to say, Hey, I helped too. Got a new heavy attack combo. Ooh, another bonus combo. It's gonna take up all my princess-like, uh, silent princesses. Perhaps due to lasting damage from being broken in battle, many of Terrico's memories are missing or corrupted. Get some things that might help your friend regain its memories. After hearing everyone recount stories of the past, Terrico's memory is just as clear as it used to be. The little guardian seems excited to continue fighting alongside all of its friends. I re again, I really, really like that second credits that played for Terrico. This revival it was just so good. Like, it really felt like the kind of credits that would play at the end of like an Age of Calamity movie. <laughs> The fight to stop Calamity Ganon may be over, but battles against monsters who threaten the peace have continued unabated. Share the memories of these difficult skirmishes with Terrico. You told Terrico stories of the battles it had missed during its long slumber. The Guardian then whirred into action to reveal a new move as if to show that it had grown stronger too. Dissatisfied with its capabilities, Terrico wants to train with the champion so it can learn new moves. Pack materials to support everyone at the practice session, mechanical or otherwise. I like the implication that, like, after everything, Hyrule is more united than ever and the champions get together from time to time to be like, Okay, everybody, let's train. <laughs> Beat each other up so that we're ready to fight monsters. By loading the memory systems in its tiny body with footage of the champions fighting, Terrico perfected a new combat maneuver. It's almost like Terrico is one of the champions now. You'll always be a champion, Terrico, beloved boy. Terrico was so excited about its upgraded chassis that it leapt up from atop a tower, nearly smashing it to bits in the process. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Terrico's a madman. It seems you need to strengthen its armor somehow. <laughs> Hello, I'm Terrico, and welcome to Jackass. <laughs> With the armor upgrades completed, Terrico took yet another ill-advised plunge off the tower. Thankfully, with shockproof cushioning installed, it came away with not even a scratch. Terrico, always diligent about keeping itself in good shape, has detected a vulnerability in its armor. That's the bad news. The good news is you can fix the issue using several components. Using the materials Terrico requested, researchers were able to reinforce its external plating. The pint-sized paladin thanked them with an uplifting melody. And this is the last one of Terrico upgrades, I believe. Speaking with folks from all corners of Hyrule, Terrico's technician has learned much about reinforcing materials. Giving the right materials, she could use this knowledge to toughen Terrico's plating. The technician made Terrico's armor stronger than ever. Anyone who wants to knock down this sturdy little guardian will really have their work cut out for them. And now... I'm going to pour all my money into leveling up Terrico. Investment in Terrico stocks. I guess we can do... Oh, wait, no. Let's see. Where is the Terrico training? Terrico's training. Committed to never again letting Zelda feel sad, Terrico resolves to become stronger. The little guardian pursues diligent training to improve itself by kicking the ass of King Rome. It's like, you made Zelda cry. Prepare to die. <laughs> We're gonna do this. Then I'll quickly look up 
what the question mark, question mark, question mark mission is for to Zelda's side. And we'll see. We'll also probably before that see if there's any way to upgrade Terrico's weapons, which, considering that we haven't played any missions with him in, except here, it'll be the first time. We might not be able to. But now we can wander around the... This again is Terrico. All is right in the world. Let's see, how many combos can we do? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Ah, you're attacking too fast. I want to do my... One, two, three, four, five, six. So it is that. Haha, <laughs> get sucked in, idiot. I also need to just spam that more. I want to make sure that it didn't have like a second upgrade. Get Flurry Rush, idiot! with these guys, I can just charge up and fire. And probably destroy a decent number of them. Get obliterated. Get obliterated. Get obliterated. The problem is, like, it's so fast, I can't really... It's like... It... <laughs> to be super optimal of Terrico, you have to, like, time his blasts while doing combos, but I just don't have the brain for it. Luckily, I upgraded the guy so I can just do this infinitely. Get obliterated. Like, imagine just being a soldier, and you're like, oh yeah, everything's going fine. And then... <laughs> The little guardian decides to come in. And just ruin your day. So maybe just doing my spams actually can work. It's cramping my finger though. Terrico is actually really fun. I like this. This is a really nice reward as, like, post-game content. I'm gonna go ahead and blast you all. Get obliterated. Get obliterated. Uh, Captain Hylians have appeared. Do you want to die, Captain Hylians? I can obliterate you with giant beam like Godzilla. Imagine being like, oh, we're going to training, oh boy, and this is your training. You're just a normal soldier. Hell has come to you. It is a tiny guardian made by the princess. No one will save you. Supposed to play nice music. Everybody get in line for death.
guess we have to wait for more dudes to spawn. Because I don't think there's any more people on the map. And we're missing seven kills. Oh, wait, nope, they're over here. If I'm missing the kill by one... Alright, more people spawn. Huzzah. Bowling. 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 I'm actually kind of tanky. I am not fooled by your size. I will hold nothing back. As you very sh well shouldn't, my man. Fear the power of the mini guardian. <laughs> That's true. Sorcerer's just being wrecked. Even the king is just like. I, again, I, I like the implication of, like, Terrico specifically asked to duel the king for training, when instead it's just like, you locked me away for many years. You made Zelda cry. Get obliterated. Oh, a mighty king losing to a little whelp of a guardian. How about that? <laughs> At least he took it gracefully. As graceful as it can be, being yeeted through the sky by a tiny guardian. At least he can take solace that his dear daughter was very, very strong in creating this. Huh, Benevolent Spring, Gear of the Protector? That's cool names. Do, 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 do. Now that we have a little bit of pocket change, I guess I could go sell materials. The problem is it would take a while. <laughs> But I don't think leveling up Terrico's weapons should take too long since there's only four overall. Oh yeah, and you see down there in the bottom left, Blood Moon Mission. Where it just kind of amps up the difficulty of a story mission. Which is kind of cool, but it doesn't really seem to do much else as far as I could tell. Because we have the Blessed Screw, Benefilet Spring... Gear the Protector. Actually, I want to read these. A special screw matching Terrico's specifications. Highly refined energy is actually stored within the part and is capable of improving Terrico's performance as a result. Greatly increasing output. <laughs> Damage to foes with status effects. So I like to spam things, maybe. Level that up. <laughs> I almost wish that I could just like buy weapons. But now, let's see, is it still question mark, question mark? It is. I'm gonna quickly look up from the Zelda wiki what the question mark, question mark, question mark mission is because I just wanna know. Defeat Harbinger Ganon. So it's not like a timed thing, huh? Or I guess, no, it is a timed thing. But hopefully, since I am almost 30 levels above, let's see. What things can I do to pack on? Movement speed, not that important. Perfect dodge window, not that important. I need to wail on him. Recovery. Special attack charge rate, maybe? Because packing that over and over could do a lot of damage if I just do that. But I... Hmm. Special attack charge rate. So really, I think... Going damage, scavenging for three special attack things, and then beating up Ganon is the best thing that we can hope for. <laughs> so, wouldn't it be hilarious if this was like there was a another the version of like Terrico goes back in time a second time to beat up Harbinger Ganon at the very beginning of everything? But let's see, because I, because I just like, it feels like there has to be a reason for the question mark, question mark, or like even all of the just like uh, DLC missions to have those like special missions. Okay, we're going to go this way because we want to fight the Hinox to get more like a uh, special charge. Yeah, we just want to fight all enemies. 
<laughs> Get annihilated, Hinox. This is not the tiny guardian that you never knew. Okay, since we're doing good damage against him, maybe we do have a chance against Carpenter Ganon. Oh, I still don't have a Chica Slide, even though we're replaying, so... Oh! Oh! That might help. I might have to try that against Harbinger Ganon. Because it's... So yeah, that might do good. That might do very good. Yeah, Terrico is actually really like... Now that we actually have upgraded Terrico... Hmm. It's actually really fun to play. Hmm. Let's see, because I think we just have to come down here and people are getting fought. How dare you say I don't have the Sheikah Slate? Why can't I be the Sheikah Slate? Get obliterated. Up and up. Up and up. Up and up. I want to kill all the enemies. Basically, just always spamming. I'll just come down here, beat up this place. Come here and die, dear enemies. Give your soul to Terrico. I don't even need a sheet plate. I can just kill you. Before Link had. The sword that sealed the darkness. There was Terrico. Annihilating fools. Why would you just not give your gate guardian weapons? That feels like very poor logistics. We're gonna put the big guy out there, but we're not gonna give him a gun. <laughs> Get flurry rush, electric with robe. I can just <laughs> charge it, charge my blasts, annihilate enemies as I go. All right, dear enemies, come to your end. Come to your demise as I suck you all in. Obliteration for you all. And we should be able to make it because we're almost at three. Charge. Yep, we're at three. So... Depending on how much health Harbinger Ganon has, comparatively, we should be able to annihilate him. But I just, I don't know what his, like, specifics might be, like, oh, in his first form, when he absorbs the Lionel, that is, like, able to be beaten, or maybe that, like, goes down a certain number of health points. It'll go like, surprise, actually, you have to beat him while he's in his other form. So I don't know. Run, little guardian. Run faster than people. 
Usain Bolt, eat your heart out. Oh. So it doesn't seem all that possible to, like, uh, catch up to Impa. Which is kind of interesting. I think it would have been funny if you could have. Unique dialogue where Impa goes like, Yeah, I don't have time for this. And just completely forgets about the mini guardian. And plus, like, uh... But here, it's like, uh, this actually goes pretty fast with an upgraded uh, Terrico, so we should be able to just blast through and give many, many tries to really give it all a shot. But still, we should, like, kill enemies along the way to try and get some experience for Terrico, just in case. Take this electric m moblin, I almost said mogul. No idea why. Get blasted. Die, Octorox. Die, Bacoblins. Blast. I should also definitely try that. Well, actually, that didn't seem to do much. Like, comboing and spamming will probably be better. So I think for this run, we'll just pour all of our, like, heavy attacks, our special attacks into Harbinger Ganon. What if I just blasted you? Alright, that activates cutscene. What if I did it again? Because we're supposed to defeat Harbinger Ganon. I'll just blast you again. This does a lot of damage. Oh, it did. So I probably should have been saving my... If I was good at... Like, uh... What is the word? Flurry rushes. Defeat Harbinger Ganon! Break the cannon! Become winner of all things! Booyah! But yeah, I think this is the normal one where it wakes up and bitch slaps us anyway. It's funny because beating it early or beating it late works both ways, which is kind of funny. It is now very angry. How dare you bury the boy. He was very happy with victory. I wonder if there's anybody out there who managed to beat Harbinger Ganon for real on, like, their first go without, like, saving Terrico and upgrading him. Like, maybe if they're really, really good at uh, getting flurry rushes off of Harbinger Ganon's moveset, but that's not me. I'm very bad. <laughs> I'm very bad at flurry rushing for the most part. <laughs> We're gonna let it play, just in case, but... We all know how this goes. Bacoblins just roaming around. 
find Tarago, tie him to a club, run away. I don't even get that giant, like, I assume bone. Kind of looks like a tooth on one end. But probably isn't. Also, I think this is, like, the most, like, detailed animation any Bacoblins have ever gotten. Like, from Breath of the Wild and Age of Calamity. It would be hilarious if there was, like, a full ten-minute cutscene of just a Bacoblin in Tears of the Kingdom. The life of a Bacoblin. It's like a normal slice-of-life episode, then Link comes in at the end and kills him. They poof in the darkness. But those are some smart bacoblins. They see Link wrecking shit. Immediately run away. <laughs> it even looks like they polished him up because he was much more scuffed. To think these memories were lying mm -hmm. dormant. Ah, uh, I see. Then area observation recordings must have been stored separately. But I do like how they justified those, like, uh, missions as being memory recordings. And memory quest completion, 100%. A lot of weapons for the boy. And 2,000 rupees for me. But I wonder if that would be hilarious if it just didn't do anything. All this time, upgrade, Terrico, maximum percent. <laughs> it's just like, congratulations. The music seems different. Ah, there we go. Oh, memory quest completion. You've gathered all the memory fragments. Oh, that's more all cutscene. the useful information we were able to extract. All that remains is some scattered memories. <laughs> and they leave. It activated. There's a soul inside of the slate. Which I think is actually kind of true. They originally were going to have the slate talk, I think. Oh, this is neat. <laughs> Zelda doing some cooking, throwing in some monster extract. <laughs> oh, the master cycle! And wonderful music. Ah, uh, back when there was a bit of despair. Oh, she's... The sword's glowing. Nods at the sword. Ah, Sidon and Sidon. Adorable. <laughs> that must be unique for Sidon. Have his little sister who's dead. Pat him on the head. Rock roast time. Oh, adorable. <laughs> Rivali keeping Tulin. <laughs> oh, that's nice. This is just nice. <laughs> Poor Impa. Never gets to touch. Oh, there we go. <laughs> she finally succeeded. She is content with life. Hesto serenading the king. I like this. Showing small little bits and pieces. That's nice. Oh, 
Oh, more. Princess, must you go through with this? She's is she gonna glide? And so I shall. There was a glider I saw. Uh, are you coming along too? Or is she gonna go off on a big adventure? Hell yeah. Everyone is fighting so hard to protect this land of ours. And of course, that would include you as well. Marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Just showing everyone kind of hanging out in little peaceful times. Like, I really like the Revalian table one. Because it, like, it does reference the fact that Tulin is there from their mission. And he's sleeping in Rivali's lap, and Rivali keeps his, like, sheet from flying away. That's just nice. Very, very nice. And I do think that that will be that for Age of Calamity. From YouTube chat, Age of Calamity might have the best story there is from Zelda. It's definitely, like, because the main thing with Zelda games is the story isn't really super upfront a lot of the time. But, like, uh, granted, I need to play more Zelda games. <laughs> I need to play Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, uh, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess again, Skyward Sword. But at least when comparing to Breath of the Wild... This story is so satisfying. And a decent bit of that satisfaction does come from the DLC little story moments. Like, giving Suga... Like, Suga was introduced in this game, and they gave him a backstory that makes him sympathetic. And then, like kind of imply they kill him off, but at the same time, if you do right things, you unlock him as a player. A playable character, and then technically he's there in the happy you saved Terrico like, uh, end credits. But it is so good. I wish that I could hit that and play the like cut thing again. Like, that would be neat. Story, quests, music, records. Oh. So can we play the credits again? A weird thing, probably, but I wanna. But it is cool. It seems like all of them are here. View narration. Catalyst of Calamity. Life debt. Uh, it doesn't seem like there is a way to specifically activate the... Or maybe it's before the EXs. Ah. Like, I might just... We might play that again, see if it does play the credits again, because that was a very satisfying credits, but... Age of Calamity is definitely better than the other Hyrule Warriors game. Like, I know some people, like, uh, miss the various systems Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition had, like the My Fairy, but... I like how condensed this is. It may not have as many characters. It might not be a whole franchise crossover. But it tells a really good story. A really, really good story. It takes advantage of the fact that Breath of the Wild was the first Zelda game to really have, like, voice acting and use that to its advantage to tell its story. It gave us more time with the interesting characters from Breath of the Wild. And, like, I've been, like, reading the TV Tropes page on and off for Age of Calamity, and apparently some people were, like, really upset that it was a time travel plot. It's like, oh, it's just, like, fan fiction. It's like, hey, guess what? Nine times out of ten, if you, like, look at, a f like, a time travel, like, story, like Terminator. Like, if you look at it from a different point of view and maybe think of it as, like, ooh, what if there was a movie that followed, like, the rise of Skynet and 
like uh, the rebellion leader fighting against Skynet. And like, and then they had a prequel movie that's actually time travel. People are like, oh, this is so fan fiction-y. Because time travel kind of feels fan fiction-y if it happens in this kind of way of changing something that you already kind of know. But I really, really like it. I really like it because, I don't know, Zelda just doesn't feel like an overly tragic series. There are some games that like, oh, surprise, like a split timeline led to a tragic thing, kind of like Ocarina of Time, there's a timeline where Ganon wins, leading to a darker timeline. But that's not the canonical ending of the Ocarina of Time that you play. That's just a version of events that went down to justify future events into a timeline, even though really Nintendo and the developers don't need to justify a timeline, but maintaining a kind of a vague one kind of does add a bit of nicety to it. But overall, the gameplay for Age of Calamity is really, really good, aside from that one time where like enemies were spawning outside of the outpost and not inside that was weird the camera against certain boss enemies could be a bit finicky like uh, mini boss and boss monsters gaining up on you uh can make it frustrating octoroks stunning you out of your combo can be a bit frustrating but that didn't happen too much that didn't happen too much and again the music Utterly fantastic. The story, utterly fantastic. We get to spend more time with these awesome characters. The DLC was really good. We didn't get to play as Robbie and Pura because they just didn't have time. They got unlocked a bit too late. Same thing with Suga, even though he was really fun. But this game was a lot more satisfying to do things in than the previous Hyrule Warriors. And... Even though I do think Breath of the Wild is really good, it being open world kind of stifles the storytelling to a degree. Because there can't be as much going back and forth linear storytelling as like Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and such. Because it's a big open world, they don't want you to go back and forth too much and get burnt out. And it's kind of open air, you can do things in different orders so they couldn't really set up moments as much. The closest thing being Sidon waylaying you at the bridge and having a moment, which even then, there are apparently ways to skip past that, which is interesting, but also kind of sad. But this being a linear story with these awesome characters, giving us more time with these characters, is just so good. It's nearly gone two hours this stream. That's really quick for your usual runtime. Kind of. For my streams, I like to have at least be two hours. But, yeah, like two hours, two hour, 30 minutes, three hours, kind of. Roughly all that. Ah, darn it. But. Overall, it's just like really, really good. I'm really glad that they did it like this. And apparently, like, uh, the team that made Breath of the Wild worked with, like, Koei Tecmo, I believe, to really make this happen. Because, again, this is such a good fusion of Breath of the Wild and fusion of the, like, uh, Hyrule Warriors, Dynasty Warriors formula. They added in the wands. You can eat apples to regain your health like you would in a fight in Breath of the Wild. The bullet time, like, flurry rush stuff is really, really cool in there. And again, just like all the character stuff in the levels, in the cutscenes. I love how they did the upgrades on the map that each tell their own mini story. It's really, really good. And again, even though people do have derided this game, it's like, oh, it's fanfic -y. I think it's the best kind of fanfic. It's really, really good. But, go ahead and let this play and hopefully get to the credits as I wrap things up.
We finished Age of Calamity. Next time, we will probably start up Tears of the Kingdom. Like, I did, like, want to do things like, oh, I want to make, like, a Rito PNG tuber to, like, uh, Make my, make a Rito PNG tuber to celebrate Tears of the Kingdom. And again, with Tears of the Kingdom being a really long game, we'll probably alternate sometimes between other games. Again, I'll try to get into Persona 3 Portable again. We'll maybe try some Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. But we'll definitely start up Tears of the Kingdom next time. So, but now, are you in the stream? Probably that. Because, like, my brain is, like, kind of regimented, and like, ah, this is how I do things. And I don't really, like, it would take me beating a game really, really early into stream to swap to another game. <laughs> but, Age of Calamity was really, really good. It is a great companion piece to Breath of the Wild. Next time... We will start up Tears of the Kingdom. And we will see what it has to offer. Because I, I know some spoiler bits. But I don't know a lot, a lot. So yeah, it'll be very interesting. Again, I will try to jump into... Persona 3 Portable from time to time in between Tears of the Kingdom streams. Might try other games as we go through Tears of the Kingdom. But yeah, Age of the Kingdom is... Not Age of the Kingdom. <laughs> Age of Calamity was very, very good. Great music, great character, great story. And I'm really, really happy they did it. Because it's very unique. It's very nice. It's really gotten me into wanting to do more Zelda. But yes, next time, Tears of the Kingdom, Intermittent Other Things. I'll see if I can maybe scrounge together a Rito PNG tuber avatar. But might not be able to do it for like the launch stream of Tears of the Kingdom. And let's see. It's like, I just have like a lot of thoughts in my head. It's hard getting it out. Like, it's very cool because it really expanded the Yiga clan. Expanded Impa, really. It's just it's really good. This is just like, it's a very satisfying game. All the extra <laughs> bonus cutscenes and endings. And I'm very, very happy that I went through and did like, not 100%, but like 100% of the like story content, I would say. It's very, very good. But I guess I'll repeat myself one final time just because brain's stuck in a loop of like, eh, hey, what else do I have to say? Say it again. What do I have to say? Say it again, because I'm dumb. Next time, which should be Wednesday, we will begin Tears of the Kingdom. Persona 3 Portable, always on the docket. We'll get to it eventually. And definitely other Zelda games on the docket of in between Tears of the Kingdom streams as well. As I try to embrace playing more games than just one game in a line, one game in a line. Just kind of try to shake myself out of stagnancy of just playing one game. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, my link tree has everything that I have to do. But just remember, be kind. Stay hydrated, be yourself, and thank you for spending your time with me tonight. Bye. Bye.